Hey there, I'm Danielle, web and graphic designer bringing you tech tips and tutorials to help you stand out from the crowd. So what on earth is a Gravatar? And more importantly, how do you set one up? What if you've got multiple emails you need to set up? Don't worry, don't panic. Let's go set up your Gravatar now. So what is the Gravatar? It's a quick, simple way to associate your profile picture with your email address. It's great for creating some brand awareness and making your face recognizable more easily to readers who come across it. You see, your readers will see your picture, and as they see it more, they'll begin to associate that picture with you and your site. And this helps them get your blog and brand on their mind. So, what is a Gravatar? Essentially, your Gravatar image is just a quick, simple way that associates your profile picture with your email address. So it's great to use for creating some brand awareness and making it easily recognizable. So a reader of yours will begin to associate that picture with you the more they see it. So it's a great way to help people associate you and your picture, also your blog and your brand, and get, the, get all of it on their mind. So the first step is to create an account. So... So when you go to gravatar.com and click on sign in, now there's a couple ways you can sign on. You can use your email and log in with your wordpress.com account or with Google or Apple in the event you have one of those. So let me go ahead and get signed into a brand new account with nothing on it. So once you've created your account and you've signed in, it will use the email that you signed up with as your first email. So you're going to add an image down here. So you've got an image uploaded to be used as your Gravatar. So you'll go ahead and add that. There's a couple ways you can add your image, past uploads, upload a new one, or even from a URL. So it will show you the preview and it'll let you resize how big or small you want this. And click crop image once you're happy with it. So and now it's going to be picking a rating. So generally it's going to fall under the G rating because it's just going to be a picture of your face. So go ahead and pick your rating and then set it. And now it's set it to that. So in the event you had a different email address, say you had a couple emails that you associated with your website for different things, maybe one like client work and one is your general email and you had another one for things like social media. So from here you can click add email address. You'll add in your email. Click on add. It's going to have you confirm this email. So once you go ahead and click on that link to confirm, it'll show in your manage Gravatar section. Now, if it's already had an image linked to it, say maybe you had a different profile, it will show with one. Otherwise, it will show with just the Gravatar icon like up here. So in the event that it loads with a different picture, maybe it's an older one, that you had previously, or you're wanting to update it, you can click on that, click remove image, click okay. And then make sure that that email you want to add it to is highlighted, and then click on the Gravatar you're wanting to use and confirm, and it will update. And that's it. Add as many emails as you need, confirm them, and then add your Gravatars to them. Don't forget to subscribe down below for new videos every Thursday at 9 a.m. Central. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.